guys, this is me, Nancy. Welcome back to Glitz Assistant Insights Live Tutorials. Hello, hello, Glitz fam. If you are first time tuning in, so welcome to Glitz Assistant Insights Live Tutorials. And if you are with Glitz for many tutorials, welcome back. And happy Monday. Hope you are having a really productive day and fabulous day today. I'm so excited to be back with another tutorial. Today is going to do some really cute, quick, simple, and easy designs. We're going to use the, some of the designs using the techniques ombre and encapsulate charms. So I'm so excited to see everyone. All right. In front of me, this is a couple of cute designs that we are. I did is earlier using velvety gels and a newest foil box or the heart and some of the heart charms you can also using this technique to doing a lot of different designs for throughout the year in the different uh, seasons as well so let's uh get started and i'm going to move this one right on the side so you can watch it later and today's i'm going to do another two colors which is the nude and dragon fruit and then also we're using a crystal clear to get into using it for cap uh, all the charms and the encapsulate okay and then the box i am going to use is all the hearts i've been swatching this one for you for a past video last week if you miss it don't worry i saved them all for you on the live videos and here is the uh, colors from the foil box and i'm using it on the top of the beige colors and this is another one that I use also the same box, the foil box, and I use on the top of the milky white, number 27 from uh, Glitch Gel Polish. So I'm going to move it on the sides. If you want to watch all the, like, swatching and all the colors and designs from this, uh, feel free to check out our live video, past live videos. I'm going to move it on the side. So I got this to foil from this box and i'm going to show you how to do the encapsulate using velvety gels and to swatch it's ready so i'm going to using the premium i hold chanfer foil so if you love chanfer foil this is from the box the single one thank you babe this is the uh, premium i hold chanfer foil if you are loving the chanfer foil uh, designs and you are like sometimes having is troubleshooting this is going to be your bestie all the time when you are using the voice box and try to chant for it so i'm going to do it like half side like i mean i'm going to apply the premium io chant for four and a half of the nails here for 30 seconds make sure that i apply it all it's only chanfer way i apply the foil the foil gels this is a premium my whole chanfer foil and it here in 30 seconds all right here this one and i'm gonna do this to the other ones i did which is this designs right here on this and i'm using the blush to ombre this one Another ones I using kind of a, um, rainbows heart colors. I really like this one as well. All right, so I want to transfer this one. Can get some ping. Let me see if I can get maybe a little ping right there. Just give it a really quick wrap it. Good rub and it chanfer everything for you. Here you go. And then we are going to using the bay gel to apply and tie the nails because we want to start using the velvety gels. So this is not only protecting our foil, also it will help to bonding velvety gels applications. Uh, right here for 10 seconds. Let's make sure I don't get the wrong side. Do you know? 
Is this one? No, this one. Is that one? Okay, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes I get a little bit of confused, you know, like I was doing it upside down. <laughs> and yeah, let me go this way. Because I want some of the heart over here. We're good. Rep. That is so cool. So, Nerfer, for our premium transfer for gel, you only need to queue for 30 seconds. All right. And we're going to go ahead and apply the bay gels on. And then queue for 10 seconds. And it transfer everything. So now we're gonna using one nails. We're gonna using a nude colors, and one we're gonna using a dragon's fruit. So I'm gonna go ahead and using the nude colors. And in the meantime, I did drop one drop of the bay gels. So we are going to using the bay gel to guide and manipulating your velvety gels. That's all you need. You don't need any other solution at all. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a smaller bead. Velvety gels in nude colors. Oh, is that on nude? It doesn't matter. This I can do this can. one. You want to do that one nude? Yeah, well, you already have a label on it. Oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't pay attention. Where am I? Mm -hmm. That's good. So I'm gonna get it, tuck it close to the kitty coals. This is gonna be this technique is so is like beginner friendly for a lot of you are just starting with the nail journey. This is going to be absolutely um one of the really easiest way to introduce with enhancements and building beautiful uh, trendy nails. And keep in mind, if you need more, you can absolutely add some more on and not going to key until you are going to um, place it under the LED light. So I am go ahead and using the, the um, Valdi gel brush and it doer. So the other end, it is a spatula so you can pick up the bits of your Valdi gels. Submerging my bristle in to the bay gels and gently guide and then tuck the velvety gel closer to the cuticles and that is really cool when you're doing it for the cleanse nails it the velvety gel is going to be really nice salt level is not running crazy also is is it will do mostly all the work for you only you need to do is to getting your bristle and just guiding your velvety gels in the center of the nails to keep it really nice and precise. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend. So cool though. And then you can add, you can do it more like a ombre with the nude or pink. I did the um, blushings earlier already, so I want you to see the nude look. So you're gonna keep your bristle really nice and parallel. So give a little bit of like have a sheer look, like semi transparent. I like it a lot. Okay. And then now we are go ahead and pick up some metals, charms, and some beads. So let's see, maybe we should do the heart and do the lips. This is not dry yet. So it's still like wet with the velvety gel. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some charms that I like. You can pick however you want. I'm going to pick some lips and some hearts.
It's for a lot of beginner nail techs. This is going to be a, such a great technique for you to do. Like trendy nails, like enhancements now and trendy nails. So I'm going to go ahead. Maybe I should do... This one I should do leap only. I like it like that. You think? Leap and the heart. Okay, and I'm gonna add some beads on randomly. That's how I like it. So cute. You can add however you want, and this designs I am going to do a couple. Looks cute. I'm gonna leave it like that. And we are go ahead and cure for a fast cure for 30 seconds. Okay. Looks cute. And look, this one I did like lips, heart. Oh, right here. Yep. You can do however you want so in the meantime we're waiting for that one and we're gonna we're gonna cap both of the nails in a little bit uh after i finish with the other with the second nail so we're gonna go ahead and do the encapsulate on the second nails and and this nails i am go ahead and using the dragon fruit it's kind of a pinkish you should do a red one should i do a red one it's like that one I want like pretty. I want to do it like uh, this is a dragon fruit, yeah. Mm -hmm. And tuck it in closer to the cuticles. Go. Cool. Hello, Tina from Facebook. Thanks so much for tuning in. Oh, this one looks cute. All right, so we're going to cap it shortly, okay? Submerging my bristles into the bay gels. And you're going to tuck it closer to the cuticles. And keep the bristle nice and parallel. You don't need anything else. No other solution needed it. And then you can always get more velvety gels if you needed it, especially for the longer nails. And only you need to do is, you don't have to do that much, is sub-level itself. And then you only need to guide it for you. And keep your bristle nice and parallel, like a flat with the nails, and blend it. Little air pocket. There you go. And you have all the time in the world to really like perfect your ombre look. I like it. I kind of have a little bit of the uh, colors of the pink's heart right there. Okay. So now, if you like the ombre looks, we'll are go ahead and add some of the heart. It is great for a lot of you who love the enhancement nails.
I'm gonna do this on like exclusive the heart only. And then add a couple more beads. It's perfect right now because it's still wet. So then you can add any of the charms in there. Yep, that's one of the main advantages over acrylic. Is acrylic? You have a very little amount of time to actually make a design. And if you mess up, it pretty much not changeable. Velvety, you can adjust to, as much as you can before you tear. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we're gonna flash key it for 30 seconds. This one looks so cool. Like a heart on the top of heart. So then in the meantime, we're we'll keying that second nails are beautiful. And also the dragon fruit is also is the color um color change and also glow in the dark as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and using crystal clear to cap all of the metals and protect my ombre part and then cap all the metals to make it really nice and smooth. And mostly the part that I am going to cap is right where is right here where we start the ombre and on the free edges of the nails. This one is cute. You see that it's kind of a really cute hot like purple magenta pinks and then it changing to a purple. It's so beautiful. I can't wait because these two, raspberry and dragon fruit is the um is glow in the dark and also is color chains. So again, same technique. You don't have to do it a lot. If you're seeing me like this, I'm just basically guiding my velvety gels is going toward to the middle center of the nails to keep the shape of the nails really nice and precise but it's self level itself so we are go ahead and guide it and i was like this is holding is am i under the camera mm -hmm. you good Submerging my bristles in the bay gel. And taper it in. I'm just really obsessed with this. It's really easy for beginners, especially. It's so easy and then it's that level. It feels like you are used doing it like apply the acrylics, but it's not. So easy. time for blending it to make sure they are blend even just remove the excess gel turn it upside down to get a self level. And then we'll go ahead and cure for full cure 60 seconds. So now it's caps really nice. And then we're gonna using same crystal clear for this one, for the dragon fruit. We're going to cap that crystal clear on. And the important is section that you are going to cap it to where your ombre is. 
and where yours encapsulates metals. I'm going to add just a little bit of my beige gels on that palette right there. And submerging my bristle into the beige gels. So you don't need any other solution. This is that set. That's all you need to use it for the velvety gel. So this is not only to enhance it for your uh, velvety gel, but also it's not breaking down the product. So blend. Keep the bristle, belly of the bristles nice and flat. This is, will be a great techniques for beginner nail techs for potential nail techs in the future. This will help you create a lot of a uh, trendy nail art, long nail arts without struggling with your, you know, first time or working on the beat of acrylics. This will be a great transitioning when you are doing it this with the velvety gels. It's so easy. It's light for the client to wear and it's easy for the nail tech to do. Not only on the natural nails, you can, uh, on the enhancement nails for the clients also, you can create, if you have a client that you are creating a, a press on set for the clients also can be enhanced for the set as well. So easy to do. Like it's basically you see me doing it just the feathers um, technique. So you can just blending it nicely. And then just remove the excess velvety gels. Great. Turn it. Turns like turn the hands upside down for like just a few seconds. I will say about five seconds. So it's slight level for you. Like it does all the work for you. I am absolutely enjoying this uh, velvety gel. It's like no odor at all, especially when we work with the clients and do a set of nails. Go ahead and keep. Getting some bay gels. I just want to make it like blends nicely because remember when you take a little bit extra time on this, when you are finished, it's going to be a less filing and shaping for you. Okay. Right here. So like five minutes, size five seconds. And a quick reminder, everyone, any see any product you see as you use, you can get them from our official website at blissaccessoryandsuch.com. So now this one is done. I'm going to move this. Um, palace is right here for a second. Wipe off my brush. And clean the palettes with alcohol. So best way to clean it first because I won't make a mess. Now we need alcohol to just clean all the residues. And 
and then shape using the 180 keep your filing straight 90 degree Like this one is gonna get and using this kind of a curve side of your file so then that way it's gonna go along with your cuticle without accidentally cutting your your client's cuticles go from a center the like side of the nails like it's high point of the nails and divide into half and then is shape it um downward to keep the shape this really nice and precise. And even before you using any e files already do majority of the work for you. do the same thing with this one I'm gonna clean that one first with alcohol and shape this the same So if you are taking a little bit of your time when you're uh, sculpting, I mean building your nails using a vapor gels, it will gonna save so much time for you when you are shaping and filing. You can literally just like shape the nails with or without e-files. You just need to e-file to go at final around the cuticle area if you want to. I'm good. Why my buff? And then just buff it from here's the spine of the nails. Right in the top and the highest part of the nails, you're gonna using it the buff and then buff it downwards to both sides. Same thing with this. You good? Mm -hmm. Here you go. One second. A little bit. I'm going to dust this off really quick. And then we just need to clean it with alcohol. I'm going to dust this one off. Can you dust this one off? Please. 
Thank you, Betsy. So dragon fruit and nude. All right. So I'm going to try to dose everything off. Okay, look good. So a lot of you were asking, how are you going to be able to uh, tone the client's nails? Is this really easy when you're doing the clients? You just tone the client's nails like this. So you can get the whole entire scene on the um on the top of the free edges the camera getting a little bit dust so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe with alcohol okay same thing with this nails and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, on the top of it? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a messy. All right. Nude. I didn't realize that I'm putting it, this sticker on it. Yep. So now that's it. We're just ready. Like if you want any other designs on, if you want to decide to add some designs on it, some crystal on it, this is like you can add the... Uh, crystal trifecta and then go ahead and using your same method that i always show you like a thousand a thousand times you can do is um crystal trifecta which is condensed glue gels no wipe top coat and apply the crystals and then do a pre-season glue gels after that so should we do any crystal or no if you want the you halos halos around here and then if you don't want anything else the clients love it like this just top coat and then you're good to go we will top coat today and give you some a cute, <coughs> excuse me, quick design today. I'm so obsessed with this. I can be definitely go without crystal today because it was so cute. I'm like, hmm, I like it a lot. All right, ready? Top coat. You can do matte top coat or shiny top coat, however you want. And then we are go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Spread the bristle. Is it dust? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get all the dust. Okay. Oh, oh. Make sure you wipe up on the edges to keep it nice and precise the shape. This is the Nude Velvety Gels. I like that. It has a little bit of, uh, it's had a little bit of hint of the, um, The heart underneath. And I did this one too. So then give you an option of, you know, like a different variety colors of encapsulate and ombre. So this one I use the raspberry and then blushing, like have a little bit of light pink. And the other ones we have is nude. So you can change a different background with the, uh, um chamfer foil you can do any different type of chamfer foil there's different one the colors and that's one is that's one is color changing okay hold on let me chalk this one too let me chalk this one for a second so this is like changing color so it's like from a like um raspberry like have a pinkish uh magenta and then the same dragon fruit. There's two different. It looks like one is like a more of a greenish, purples, uh, mm -hmm. pink, and the other one is is this this two was not. Oh. So this one is the. Ready? Mm -hmm. 
Look at that. This two in the middle, it does it is not the um is not glow in the dark. And this is what I can't read it. Uh raspberry right here on my left side on this side, mm -hmm. and then dragon fruit on the right one. Just like a little second chalks, and it's already so nice and glow in the rocks. And it changes in colors from a darker to the lighter. It's really cool. It's really fun tutorial today. So I can sometimes give you a quick break from just not having any crystal on today. But you know what? If you tell me to put crystal, I can just really bling these nails out. Let's give you some um, ideas. Hopefully, it's bring you some idea for some of encapsulate if you are building the client's nail, doing a lot of nail enhancement. And then you can just adjusting it according to the length of the nail. So if they have a client's have is a long nails, using the tips of like one and a half and one and three quarters, you can do like a little bit of more charms encapsulate. If you have a shorter client's shorter nails, then you can do it like according and adjusting um, with the client's nails length. Okay. So hope it bring you some fun idea for Valentine nails. Oh, thanks so much, Michelle. Michelle, it's so good to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Instagram fam, Facebook fam, of course, TikTok fam, and YouTube fams. And I hope you enjoy the tutorials. This one is cute, though. This one is kind of nice for the clients who want really subtle nails. Like, let me put a background here. You can see that is the heart, like, like hollow heart underneath and this one has some colors on with a different uh velvety gels ombre ah lana lana did i say it right thanks mm -hmm. so much and you are very welcome i hope you're enjoying it and if you have any question regarding to the products uh or any tutorials feel free to dm us on instagram facebook or tiktoks or youtube or if you have any question regarding to the order and shipping, please feel free to email us at info at Our team will be so happy to assist you. Hey, thanks so much, Lana. Thanks so much for tuning in. And we are looking forward to see you in the next live video. And then this is today is the nine. So there are two more days for the Glitz January sub box is going to be a viable in two more days and then on the 12th of january is going to be february sub box gonna release so if you are love the glitz sub box this month you don't want to miss it out just make sure you get yourself once and it definitely has so many of the elements and the products in there without breaking your bank and you have a lot it's not only you using it for this month also for months to come so here is a final looks and i hope you enjoying it and we're looking forward to see you in the next live video in the meantime please take good care of yourself and your family and be safe out there okay and i will see you in the next live video